TGIF guys in the house as usual we're giving God thanks for health and strength and all good things we want to thank God for you know giving us life and in that and on that note let's just kick off last night's airing of schools challenge quiz and the schools featured were the purple school aka Kingston College, you know, my arch nemesis, the usual. And they went up against um, St. Andrew Technical High. St. Andrew Technical High. Uh, first to begin with, let me just point out, guys, that the caliber or the standard that I'm used to seeing for both institutions, um, it was lacking last night. What, what am I trying to say? The group uh, represented KC. I feel them 100%. I feel them even 90 Maybe borderline 70 to 80 But based on how oh, they usually represent. The last year, the crap never did so 100 This year, I think this is the first in the history of me watching Quinch. Not, not to say that it's never happened. It's the first in the... The season of watching school challenge quiz for KC that I've seen what I call a minor. There was a guy that I described as a minor on the team. People, this youth couldn't look like him in a first form. I, I, I've never seen KC use a first form student on their panel. Not to say that they haven't. I'm just saying I have never seen it. So it's, it was quite... Um, I was, I was taken aback. This so you know if I'm going to get one of your name, right? You know if I'm going to get one of your name. People, as the introduction of the team members began and the camera panned to this little, this minor, uh, me I see in front of me, uh, Alvin. You know Alvin and the chipmunks? You look like a black version of Alvin. I not talk, I not talk like, talk to people, right? Um... No, St. Andrew Technical High, they, they missed the mark on this one too as well. They missed the mark. And what we also noticed, myself and, myself and a couple of other colleagues, including one of them who would have been internationally acclaimed in his astuteness and his line, his line of expertise and having served on previous um, seasons as, as um, team captain on a particular school i won't call it but him did agree with me and that, what all of that for say what we did that thing him did up on the same wavelength with to say the questions in this first round really harder it's really harder uh, you know we did a if and butter you know he did add people I'm not lying. so it's not a walkover now in terms of the outcome of the match predictable yeah we know the qc would have win but as we say the fighting spirit we would expect to see from board schools, it did it did woefully lacking, especially the last last boss section. Yeah. Um, well, good news. Stats managed to answer one question in the buzzer round. And it was a Whitney Houston question. Mr. Man, the boy didn't depend on cloud nine. It's like when him answer it, he said the boy said, Yes, praise God, yes, yes, he will squeeze up one. Really happy for him. I feel for game and hug and say, yeah man, are you are the real, are you are the real winner my youth? And so to wrap it up guys, the score ended on Kingston College on 44 and the stats on 6, 6 I think it was. And on that note, I'm wishing for you guys a really good weekend. Stay safe and I'll see you all, God's willing, on Monday. See you all.